Hey, what up, America? It's your boy, Bouchon Glover, Better Black America TV. Now, and I wanted to just talk about the uh, sentence uh, for the um, white woman police officer, former police officer, was just convicted of uh, murder for murdering a black man that uh, lives in her same apartment building, actually uh, one floor up from her apartment. So she mistakenly went to her the wrong apartment and somehow there was an intruder there and she uh, killed him. Okay, and all and the the fuss is she got um, ten years. She got ten years, and that's where the um, the topic of discussion is today. You know, if, if that was a black man who killed a white woman, a black off-duty police officer went upstairs and apparently went to the wrong apartment and just killed a white female. But I'm going to tell you the difference between uh, blacks and whites when it comes to uh, sentencing. You know, blacks, you know, we sit back and, you know, we be like, you know, hey, it is what it is. You know, I did what I had to do. You know, you know, I believe in the Lord. So whatever time you got for me, that's it. But a white person and then you can look at the 14 day sentence for uh, the actress who uh, was, you know, caught. Um, fraudulently paying uh, to get her kid into USC, you know, there's a, there's a term that we black folk don't use. And white folks use it, you know, they say it's white privilege and all that good stuff, but white folks use it on the regular. You know, that's why as blacks, it's, it's hard to trust because we, we're cut from two different cloths. You know, they have white privilege, you know, we're black. You know, so the presumption is 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 guilty. We got to prove ourselves innocent. But in their case, you know, they they do what they call remorse. That's why we look at the women's movement. You know, that's why we can't support the women's movement because it's a total, it's a white woman's movement, meaning that they're the victim as well as the perpetrator. You know, they'll be aggressive, and then when you react, oh my God, why? You know, but. It's a term that we call remorse that blacks we don't use, you know, just like the sister who got five years in jail for putting her child in a school district, you know, that was actually outside of uh, where she lived just for him to have a better education. But I'm sure during the trial, there was no remorse there. That was like basically saying, you know, hey, I did what I had to do. I was trying to get my kid in a different school so he can get a better education. Damn. OK. But then the white woman, they do the same thing and the same crime, but they'll sit back and they'll say, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I don't know what I was thinking. I would just, I thought I was doing the right thing and I was trying to help my child. So if any, your honor, if you could find leniency and I have a hundred signed documents, you know, of, of my character. So if there's anything you could do, you know, cause I don't want to go to jail. Okay, 14 days. 14 days really and she got what five years okay and then the case of the police officer you know black man well you know they, she was facing five to life five to 99 years and she got 10 and she was actually convicted by you know not convicted but the judge was a, was a black woman the police chief was a black woman the jury was seven out of the 12 jurors were actually black OK, so they did get the conviction, but did, she, did they get it right when it comes to the murder? But when she had the remorse, you look at it and she was just crying, you know, oh, my God, I just I, I don't, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. And then the judge gave her 10 years, hugged her. The the bailiff, the sister, uh, you know, uh, the bailiff, one of the um, law enforcement officers that was assigned, fixed her hair. The brother of the guy hugged her, embraced her. You know, somehow us as blacks were different. That's why we have to create our own lane in terms of being just a sovereign race. That's why we need our sisters to come home. Stop fighting for femininity. That's for the white women. And for our gay brothers, you know, I understand that, you know, you do what you do. But, you know, come on home. You're still a nigga, bro. OK, and then to black men, it's time for us to step up and be the leaders in our communities and fight for our own disposition because we're cut from two different cloths. We know how it feels. So we, we, we have sympathy and empathy. OK, but they throw the book at us. 
you know. But with that being said, I mean, they have that that remorse. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. I didn't know what I was doing. <laughs> Two days, a nigga be like, you know, hey, I I did the crime, got to pay the time. So your honor, no no matter what you sentence me, your honor, I'm no I'm gonna be all right. So no matter what you sentence me, you know what I'm saying I I'm in God's hands. Nigga back. All right, nigga, life. <laughs> so we gotta we gotta hey come on y'all we gotta figure this thing out we can and we will so that's just my two cents on the two 10 year sentence for murdering the brother that lives you know that the white woman went to her own apartment but the key the key word is remorse because if you you put you you know if you have that remorse sometimes sometimes the judges will be lenient sometimes but we typically don't have that we always say hey, it is what it is whatever time you got for me your honor you know, but with that being said, man, have a good day. Just wanted to give my two cents and just talk about the difference, you know, in black folk and white folk when it comes to sentencing. You know, they do have remorse. Ask a black, do you have a statement? Oh, no, I ain't got no statement. Just sentence me, nigga. I'm ready to do my time, nigga. <laughs> Peace out, man. Better black America.